the avant-garde of the 1930s France. And Cezanne, that was our thing. Well, now it would be that Frank and Jack would do Cliff, and Elmer and Dick would do David. Well, there were heretics. <laughs> the Beat Generation, with Wally Hedrick and Jada Fayle, Joan Brown and Manuel Neri and the Six Gallery, Bruce Connor and the Batman Gallery, Allen Ginsberg giving the first reading of Howell during my show with the Six Gallery, and the heretics and the orthodox all flourished together in the world of SFAI. Bumping, grinding, dancing, squirming. All flourish together. After a little over 10 years, Gurdon Woods left, and I became director. We had students coming out of our ears. We built a new building, added on to the old. An auditorium where we are right now. We took the photography department out of the basement and into color, into the new worlds of far travel, of wit and words, and new and plain and deep social commentary. We started a film department because the technology had reached the point where you could do it yourself. If you're not doing it for yourself, why bother? We had George Kuchar and Ernie Kerr and Janice Lipton, all teaching. And then it was the hippies and the summer of love. Now I have to admit to you, I was relieved <laughs> and glad. When the beatniks were gone, it got to be so boring. <laughs> The years of the summer of love with Nick Hyde, Pop and LSD and psychedelia and the hippies and the civil rights movement in Vietnam. We did it all, climbed all over each other from overcrowding <coughs> and arguing about what to do and how to do it. We started a minority scholarship program and a teaching program where our students taught in neighborhood centers. Other students created a whole new movement, fantastic art, or maybe stoned painting. <laughs> Still others marched on Market Street against the war. And incidentally, remember that our property belonged to the University of California. So we were in effect a branch of the University of California. And Ron Reagan was the governor of California at that particular time. Mm -hmm. And he's on the board of Regents. And well, there was that Kent State thing, which you may remember or heard about, when four students got killed who were protesting the Vietnam War. And the governor had called in the National Guard, and somehow or other, four students got shot dead. This made a lot of controversy. And so Reagan declared that the University of California campuses would be closed for a week. Well, we took a vote, yeah, and as director of the college, yeah, well, I could declare the classes closed, but we kept the place open and turned it into a propaganda factory <laughs> with, with masks of Richard Nixon and Ronald Reagan and great big posters and all of this stuff. And also, we became the first art school to include students and faculty on our board of trustees. And again, we ran out of money. The new building cost overrun was maybe 50%. And again, we rose from the ashes. And after that, I left. 
to be a full-time artist, saying to myself, that was why I was born, thinking I wasted my life administering SFAI. And I want to talk about that word administering for a moment. Administer. Add means to. Minister means take care of. No, you're not the boss. You take care of them. You help your parish, your city. And we were a city of neighborhoods, as Carlos Villa pointed out in his book. We have neighborhoods, departments, groups of people, not necessarily departments. So as an administrator, to me it was always important to remember not the boss. I taught people you were doing stuff. The fact is, when we were building the film department, they know everything. I don't know anything. Furthermore, they've got the passion to do it. They'll make it happen. Make a space. Let them make it happen. Same with photography. Same with everything. Let them make it happen. Anyway, so I quit <laughs> and did a bunch of full-time jobs, part-time jobs, full-time jobs for a semester or a year at UC Berkeley and UC Davis and, and community colleges and all this stuff. I ran around like a, everything. So then it happened. Stephen Goldstein became, I left, Stephen became president. The old director title was gone. Stephen kept everything we'd started going. At a performance video, which turned into a new genre, the first department of its type in the nation. Mm -hmm. These people, Sharon and Paul, Tony and Doug, they made it make a space to help them. They'll make it happen. In every age, in every place, there's a vision of the age, the zeitgeist. In every age, we've expressed that vision. Virgil Williams, vision, a school to teach how to paint California, although 